"'Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, "'not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. "'The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, "'in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. "'The children were nestled all snug in their beds, "'with visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. Ma in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. But on, when out on the lawn arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. Flash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wandering eye did appear, but a miniature sleigh and eight, rain, eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment he must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with the obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the coursers they flew. With a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas, too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed in all fur from head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler, just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of his pipe he held in his teeth, and the smoke he it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook like when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a bright jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye. A twist of his head soon gave me no. I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings and turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose, he gave a nod. Up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh to his team, gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the dawn of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all and to all a good night.